another day, another dollar, another weekend to ever spend. A nice little poem written by Matt. Oh, just get on with it, you dopey twat. Let's go. So, um, I'm very pleased to announce that we can actually carry on from where we need to be. Uh, I had the scare of my life when I accidentally deleted the next part I'd recorded from here and then overwritten the save. But magically, when I went back to it today, it sort of reset to before I'd started recording the video. So we're exactly where we need to be. Which is absolutely perfect. So the advantage I've got now is I know what I'm doing, so I'm not going to be messing about wasting your time. Just managed to get that through that gap. Oh, come on, stop. Why did I do that? Don't like the controls on this one bit. So fingers crossed that is about in line where it needs to be, but no, it's not quite. I also apologise if you can hear um, hammering in the background. <laughs> it appears uh, my dad is actually up in the loft at the moment, directly above my room. So whilst I'm recording this, there's all sorts of work going on in the loft. But fingers crossed, it doesn't pick that up and doesn't disrupt the recording one bit. I'm not sure why I jumped down either because I need to go back up now. And rather than moving it, it should be quicker just to get up, but apparently it doesn't want to work like that. Right, so we've definitely got that one, haven't we? Let's just turn the camera around. Yep, so we've got the scourge off of it. And that's unlocked the door for us, so we're ready to move on. So I hope you're all enjoying the series so far. I know we don't get too many views on it. We do get one dedicated viewer, which uh, I'm ashamed to say is uh, one of my best mates. Well, I'm not ashamed to say that, but you know what I mean. It's like, yeah, we, we sort of do these videos knowing that each other are going to watch them and, support, and just, you know, support each other. That's all we really have in mind when we're doing it. So, just to be fair, nothing wrong with that. Um, i trying to think what I'm doing now. So we need Lumos for now. I'll swap Expelliarmus. Yeah, I fear that that uh, hammering going on is going to be picked up really loud. Unfortunately, there's not a lot I can do about that at the moment. I'll pick the worst time to start recording. Yeah, this bit you can just sort of run straight past, which I discovered uh, very anxiously <laughs> the first time round. I noticed that it spawns you straight in at a location where there's you're surrounded by at least three prefects, and they're very, very likely to get you. So I'm going to pop Defendo on. We don't need Lumos just yet. Wow, as if it was that close. It wasn't that close to me before. And I have a feeling, yeah, we can't get through there. Probably one we've looked at before. My memory when it comes to this game is like a sieve. This will be another one with... I have a feeling that's the... Oh, oh, oh. Maybe it is a different one, but... I don't fancy my chances with that. This will be quite useful, though. Alongside any other beans or anything we can get. Thought for sure that was going to give me something. Come on. Well, at least we can keep picking these up. It would be ideal if you could target these things, just to be sure. Yeah, I didn't think it would give me anything, but... Okay, back to the seventh floor. We need to show this copy of Hogwarts of History to Hermione.
This guy's too easy. Wattle bird. There's multiple ways you can get past him, come to think of it. Okay, so we're about to run into Harry! Ron and Hermione. I managed to get Hogwarts a history, but it wasn't easy. Slytherin ambushed me. Crikey! The dialogue in this game. Look, Harry. Here you go. Well, after all that, you, you want to look you want to look at the book, do you? Hogwarts was founded over a thousand years ago by the four greatest witches and wizards of the age. Godric Gryffindor, Helga Hufflepuff, Rowena Ravenclaw, and Salazar Slytherin. For a while, the four founders worked in harmony together, seeking out youngsters with magical abilities and bringing them to the castle to be educated. But a rift began to grow between Slytherin and the others. Slytherin believed that magical learning should be restricted to all magic families and that no students of non-magical parentage should be admitted. Eventually, a serious argument on the subject caused Slytherin to leave the school. He built a secret chamber in the castle of which the other founders knew nothing. According to the legend, Slytherin sealed this chamber of secrets so that no one would be able to open it until his own true heir arrived at the school. The heir alone would be able to unseal the chamber, unleash the horror within, and use it to purge the school of all who were unworthy to study magic. Blimey! I always knew Salazar Slytherin was a twisted old loony, but I never knew he'd started all this pure blood mudblood stuff. It sounds to me like the horror within mentioned in the book is a monster that only the heir of Slytherin can control. But what kind of monster? The kind of monster that can petrify a ghost? But what kind monster of monster? The creeps. I'm off to bed. You're always off to bed. I don't want to see you anyway. Alright. If I'm correct, I have yeah, 200 house points and 50 beans. And I believe I actually know now where to find the next item that is missing from the book. You know, the telescope that we so still need to find. Um, I'm not going to go out and get it just yet because it's still night and we've just gone to all the trouble of sneaking past all those prefects only to have to go and do it again. Um, we make an exception for Percy here because there's just one of him and it shouldn't be too hard just to get across to the shop. Famous last words. Huh? Flibbity gibbet. I must be hearing things. Well, surprised he didn't come out at that point. So we got 50 beans. I do. I need like a a new bag that can carry more of them. Because I know you can upgrade it. At the moment it looks like we don't have as much available in the shop. I mean, you can buy another potion vial, but I don't think I can afford that How just yet. How is this wicking well potion vial? 100 birdie bots I definitely can't afford beans. that. How much is the Alahamora spell book? 80 birdie bots every flavour See, that, that will be well worth it once we manage to upgrade the bag. Um, what I'm thinking for now is... We'll have a look around at the wizard cards because I know they're only 30 each. The limited edition Bertie Bot card. What does that cost? 30 Bertie Bots every flavour beans. See, the, the limited edition factor of that makes me want to get it. But How much is this Egg Astrolga card? 30 Bertie Bots every flavour beans. The Archibald Alderton card. How much is that? 30 Bertie Bots Albert Grunion. The inventor of the dung bomb. How much is that? 30 Bertie Bots every flavour beans. The limited edition. Yeah, I'm going for the limited Bot. edition one. An excellent purchase, Harry. His real genius was in the invention. So fingers crossed buying that then sort of restocks the shop next time. I don't know exactly how it works, maybe like later missions or something, trigger it to refresh and you get more. What am I looking for here guys? I'm looking for the Folio Magi, or whatever it's called. Folio Magi, I don't know. Whatever. So Bertie Bot, inventor of Bertie Bot's every flavour of beans, if you hadn't guessed. 1935 to present. Interesting. ...of the unreleased dog spit flavoured bean.
Hey! Just the quickest and easiest way to get past him. <laughs> It's interesting all the, uh, the paintings around Hogwarts, the portraits and stuff. There's so many of them and I don't really pay much detail to them, so... That didn't make sense, did it? I don't pay much detail. You know what I meant, but... Still. See, the music in here suggests it's daytime, but I know that's not case because I'm getting the option now to end the day so what I'm going to do is end it there and it's time to start the new the uh, next day at Hogwarts. Well, while doing so, whilst starting the next mission. I don't believe you're the heir of Slytherin, Harry. Not like some people. Glad to hear it, Neville. Um, what we'll do is we'll explore around. Morning, I'd quite like it's to get that telescope. First thing, isn't it? Yeah, first floor. I'll meet you there. So we're about to uh, do the next spell challenge, but yeah, like I said, before we do that, I'll explore a bit first. I'll take advantage of the fact that it's daytime and it's going to be easier to get around. If I see anyone lurking about that might want to trade cards, for example, possibly these over here. Hello, Harry. People are saying you're the heir of Slytherin. Is it true? And did you really order that snake to attack your classmates? Okay, none of that's true. Right, let's um, see what we can find. these classrooms then? Ancient runes. Have we been in any of these? I'm going to have a look in classroom 6A first. Thankfully we don't have to go through any tedious loading screens. Um, yeah, it's probably worth getting our bean count back up again. However, I don't see much in here we can actually uh, make use of, so... On to the next classroom, I guess. Right. Well, now we've got Scourge. We can take care of that chest. Which is always good to know. I don't know if it's possible to find any more beanbags anywhere. But there's another Withers card, so that's uh, that'll do for me. Right, so... Scourge on that. We'll open the chest. Another wizard card. Can't remember how many there are in total to collect. There's quite a few, but <laughs> I guess we're on our way. We're collecting as many beans as we can find along the way. There's another classroom up here, so we might as well head down to the ground floor. I don't think I'm going to start the next class in this video. I'm instead going to make use of my time exploring and getting everything I can before it's too late. Okay, that's ideal. It's all well and good getting beans, but you can get the ones that give you health. Okay. 
that's all we're getting from here I'm afraid so some more classrooms over here that's Dumbledore's office which is locked classroom 3D is it all in um, 3D it's a three dimensional classroom whoa drop any beans again did he? No. Which classrooms is this? This is a defense against the dark arts. We've already done that. I'm guessing we've got everything there is to get but having said that if we go back in there they might have an opportunity to refresh some of the bookcases and stuff we looted before. I'm glad I started recording this game because it's worth going through again just to just to see all the stuff I missed out on as a kid when I didn't perhaps appreciate all the exploration you could do and I quite frankly sucked at the game which I kind of still do. <laughs> but coming back we realised there's now more opportunities for casting Scourge, getting rid of all the goo collecting some more wizard cards. So as you can see quite a large amount of them can be obtained from these chests that are covered in the scourge stuff. And we've already tried to get up there which isn't doable. Can I search here? Yes I can. don't think there's anything else I've missed. I'll search that one. It'd be a shame to go and lose all those beans after this. I do apologise if you can hear that banging really loud. Okay. Keep falling for that. I guess I'm just so eager to get everything there is to get. So it's not something I'm usually good at in games. But it's been uh, my focus a lot more lately. I'm starting to appreciate that it's worthwhile fully completing a game and getting <laughs> getting the most out of your money. That would be the best, you know. So I think what we'll do. We'll just try and collect a few more beans, possibly wizard cards. Try and get that uh, house point total up. So we can finally beat Slytherin. And uh, once we do, I'll probably uh, leave that f there for this part. I don't want to drag it on for too long. I'd like to sort of split the parts up as evenly as I can. I know some last a bit longer than others and the very first part that I did as a live stream actually went on for a good 50 minutes I believe. Do you collect famous witches and wizards cards? You bet I do. I'll give you card number 78 or see no thrusting for number 98, Dymphna Firmage. Here you are. Do you collect famous witches and wizards cards? So, who actually had that then and he just decided to just give it without asking me first?
I think that's the card I just got from it. So. Right, okay. Well, either way, we're not... I guess we're not last out, in a sense, because even if we have swapped a card, and it's given us no benefit whatsoever, at least we've not lost a card. We've sort of got the equivalent of what we had already, so... Right, let's equip the bloom, bloom, the broomstick, and uh, a little fly around, see what I can find. So you know it's most likely to be on a rooftop somewhere. I need to turn this down a little bit because this is way too loud. This music. There we go. Uh, where could it be? Let's have a look. So that's the gnome throwing. I've not quite got enough beans to waste away on that just yet. Let's see, it's, it's on one of these rooftops somewhere, I believe. Pretty sure I came across it before, off camera. Now, did you see something there? No. Things. Oh, ouch. Is up here by any chance? Doubt it. I'm turn the camera so I can see a bit better, maybe. Through the gap. Okay, I thought I knew roughly where it was, but turns out I'm going to be guessing. So it seems like it's going to be hidden pretty well. Ledges you can land though, surely. Oh, nothing down there. So right, let's fly a bit higher, see if we can see anything. I wish you could turn the camera a bit better for a better view of what we've got. Oh, there it is, there it is. I knew that was going to happen. I was trying to get it just right to uh, glide the gap. Here we are. Brilliant. Brilliant. So what we'll do, we'll go uh, turn that in now, and uh, save the game while we're at it. So as you can see, it's the Iverforce challenge next. The big reveal from the save game title there. Kind of expected that from Transfiguration, but anyway, back on the broom. Off 
flying around. And I need to see if I can land somewhere near... Well, that's going to be... I don't know, let's have a look. Where do I need to be? So this is Madame Hooch's flying lesson. Risky flying here. Didn't think I'd get away with this. But if we keep making our way through these archways, we should get back to the castle. There we go. Perfect. Right, okay, so... Back up to the Gryffindor common room. yet. Can't say I'm too surprised. Oh, see what these geezers want. Ah, oh, Potter! Anything interesting happened last night? Mm, not a lot, really. Let's go in! So that's where the next lesson is, that's good to know. So all the way back up to the seventh floor. Right. Off we go. I just wanted to be a bit sneaky then, expecting that prefect to be there. Wattle bird. So back into the common room. We've got these camera angles. Thanks very much for finding the telescope, Harry. Have a wizard card. So as it only put us up by 10 house points, I think we should probably do a little bit more exploring next time. Um, lost Toad answers to the name of Trevor, property of Neville Longbottom. Last seen near the Herbology Greenhouses. If found, please return to this notice board. So that's exactly what we're going to do next time. Um, and it helps that actually that's what one of my mates requested. Um, he wanted to see more of that area because he thought it was a nice little interesting area and didn't really get a chance to play much of it when he played the game. Uh, so that's exactly what we're going to do next time. We're going to head back to that area do a bit more exploring, find as many beans as we can, collect maybe some more wizard cards on the way, and if we find Neville's Toad, we'll return it to the board and get a few more house points before we carry on. So that all sounds like a plan, we've got things in order. So the sun's shining, birds are singing, I'm off to bed. Good night guys, and I'll see you next time.